Trailing edge flap asymmetry. Yerevan. In this video, we will talk about trailing edge flap asymmetry. Positive rate. Gear up. It is a malfunction that may occur during the flap retraction or during the flap extension. It may be recognized by checking the flap position indicator, or when there is an uncommanded roll when changing the flap position. If you have a flap asymmetry, you will not move the trailing edge flaps anymore. That is the configuration you will land. In case the leading edges are not extended, the non-normal checklist will direct you to extend them, and that is it. You will approach faster than normal, so be sure the landing distance is adequate. If you have a flap asymmetry after takeoff, most likely you will not be able to continue your flight to your destination. Consider returning to the departure airport or diverting to some suitable airport. Navigate the aircraft to a safe place where you can carefully read the non-normal checklist. Depending of the landing distance available, consider burning some fuel to reduce the approach speed. Holding in icing conditions with flaps extended is prohibited, so avoid icing conditions. You can keep climbing to avoid the ice, just remember that the maximum altitude to fly with flaps extended is 20,000 feet. If required, trim the aircraft. You may use the rudder trim to center the control wheel. Remember that it is prohibited to use the aileron trim with the autopilot engaged. If you need to use it, disengage the autopilot first. The non-normal checklist will instruct you to set the flap lever to the nearest detent that is equal to, or less than the smallest indicated flap position. In this example, that will be up position. With the flap lever set to the up position, the non-normal checklist will direct you to go to the trailing edge flaps up landing checklist, which in turn, will instruct you to lower the leading edge devices using the alternate flap switch. Placing the switch down momentarily will command the leading edge devices to the full extended position. The trailing edge flaps will remain in the same position, and that will be the landing configuration. For all other possible trailing edge flap asymmetry configuration, with the flap lever set from position 1 to position 30, it will not be necessary to extend the leading edge devices. The landing will be executed with the present flap configuration. And the leading edge devices will remain in the same position. If you have a flap asymmetry during the flap extension, consider holding or requesting long vectors to allow you to properly address the non-normal checklist. In case of asymmetry, and with the smaller flap jammed between position 15 and 30, the checklist will direct you to set the flap lever according to the smaller flap indication, in this case 15, and to set VREF 15 or VREF ICE. In this example, VREF ICE. It will also direct you to inhibit the flap ground proximity warning. With VREF ICE selected, the wind additive should not exceed 5 knots. In case of asymmetry, if the smaller flap is jammed between position 30 and 40, the checklist will direct you to set the flap lever to 30 and to set VREF 30. If you decide to continue the approach, be sure the landing distance is adequate to stop the aircraft. In case of go around, 
the flaps will remain in the same position. If the landing gear is retracted and the flap position is greater than 25, the landing gear configuration warning will sound. Minimums. Go around, set go around thrust. Positive rate. Gear up. To avoid the warning, if the aircraft is able to comply with the go-around gradient, the landing gear may remain extended during the go-around. Or it can be extended later on when the terrain is not a factor anymore. In case you need to divert, be sure you have fuel enough to reach your alternate airport. Do not use FMC performance predictions with flaps, slats, or landing gear extended. Thank you for watching.